Welcome to day 14, the end of week two of our 21-day meditation experience. In the spirit of gratitude, Deepak and I want to say thank you for going deeper into this meditation journey with us. Today we're going to explore the intrinsic connection between gratitude and compassion and how compassion starts to change your experience and the world. Compassion is the key to recognizing and honoring what links us together. It's the knowing that because you are human and I am human, that we are really more alike than we could ever be different. When you judge another human being, you deny the connection that ties us all. We are all human beings. When you refrain from judgment, when you choose compassion and only judge favorably, you activate your own grace. You become a conduit for peace and understanding and happiness. From a place of gratitude, our hearts soften. Compassion becomes a natural way of being. Through our compassionate connection with others, we generate a collective strength that creates miracles. So let's today make space in our hearts for empathy. Deepak is going to show us the way and then together we'll meditate. There is a hidden link between gratitude and compassion. When you feel kindness in your heart, you're being compassionate. This quality has been worshipped in Jesus and the Buddha. But at the same time, compassion often feels impossible. We find ourselves feeling judgmental against wrongdoing and the people who commit evil deeds. Judgment is fueled by a sense of righteousness that the ego enjoys to the fullest. It likes nothing better than to feel that it's in the right. The problem with judgment is that if you are in the right, you've put someone else in the wrong. So judgment creates a gulf of separation. And on the other side of the gulf, the person you judge against is usually judging you just as harshly. Being thankful is the opposite of being judgmental. When you're thankful for something or someone, you can't be judgmental at the same time. This fact has healing power because if you feel critical and judgmental against someone, No matter how hard you try, you can undermine your judgmental attitude by finding reasons for being thankful that the person is in your life. A simple technique is to visualize the person's face and once you see it clearly, imagine that you are their father or mother. Say what you'd like to say to the person, but adopt the attitude parent. No matter how critical you may want to be, you can't help but be thankful that this person was born, that you are able to love him or her, that you shared the joy of their childhood. Stepping down from the judge's chair brings a complete shift in attitude. Even the person's worst faults become something you wish to help with, not condemn. The next step toward compassion is to forgive. In the absence of judgment, there's nothing to resent. Grudges start to loosen their grip. 
when you forgive, your awareness becomes more inclusive. It expands beyond I, me and mine. This is when the window of compassion opens. You empathize with the common humanity that links you to everyone else on earth. This shared sympathy deepens our humanity. Compassion isn't offered with pride or self-regard. It purifies the soul and then you realize the deepest truth. When you stop judging others, you stop judging yourself. Once you get to that place, you are in a state of grace. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. When I have no judgment, I see everyone with kindness. When I have no judgment, I see everyone with kindness. Now let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Karuna Ham. This mantra means, I am compassion. It is the deep compassion that allows you to see another person as yourself. As you repeat the mantra, feel the spiritual connection you share with all living beings in your heart. Repeat it silently to yourself. Karuna. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open and receive just a little more. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Karuna Ham Karuna Ham Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and when it's time to end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Karuna Ham Karuna Ham Karuna Ham
Time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate 
the centering thought. When I have no judgment, I see everyone with kindness. When I have no judgment, I see everyone with kindness. When I have no judgment, I see everyone. 